Hi, I'm Sina Racina and welcome to my video. In this video, I will give you some recommendations, you know, for the upcoming Witches Paradox event. Unlike the other events, which are just a breeze to go through even if you are just beginning the game, you know, in most cases, unless you go to EX battles or things like that. The events are usually pretty easy, but the Witch Extermination battles, uh, yeah, th they can be hard even for like seasoned players like myself. I remember the first one, like I barely like go through it, especially when it you uh, when you get to the the EX battles. Oof. I mean. The normal difficulties, like, you know, easy, normal, and hard. Yeah, those are easy-ish. But then you get to the extra ones, and that's when the nightmare begins. Okay, so what's this video about? Well, if you are free to play, or if you don't have too much time playing, it's completely understandable that you don't have the means to maybe be completely armed against this event. The good thing is, there's two news, the good news and the bad news, so let's start with the good. The good thing is that for this event, they give us like a boost on some selected memorias, and the bad news is those memorias are 4 star memorias, so maybe you have them, maybe you don't. They are all memorias, you know, the flower field ones, but still, you may not have them, I mean... I have a, a, a almost full set of them, but not all of them are, you know, fully ascended. There are some other memorias in the game that have, if not the same effect, like pretty close to it. And that's what I'm going to be telling you about. Now, to make this more uh, free to play friendly, as you know, it implies in the title. I'm just going to be showing you the three star memorias and in some cases two star memorias that have an approximation of the effects you will need according to the announcement in, uh, in the event. Now, without further ado, let's start. Okay, so first we have Alina's memorias. I'm just going through them in the order I found them on the announcement. So, a stance on art, it has anti-poison, 100%, so basically poison immunity, damage up versus enemies afflicted with status ailments. So, you know, like the same thing with the second to last Kimochi raid. The boss was affected by status conditions and you could hit it harder with things like this equipped. And as for the special effect, as you can see on the graphic I'm showing you here, it has defense up, that's why I put it in red, because that's an additional effect, and that effect is just going to be used during the event. You cannot use it anywhere else, and after the event is over, the effect is gonna go away. So, if you look to your right, in the image, you can see I have two sections, one is defense up, and the other is anti-poison, in this case defense up. You can see there are three memorias in there which are a flavor, uh, what is flavor, what flavor is break time? Which is the Alina one, the other one is a rough welcome in the sewers, which you know the middle one with Suruno and the rest, and the Mao family is lively today as well, which is the one in uh, the right most. So all of three, three memorias have this, uh, shared the same effect with stance on R, they give you defense up. Now, Alina's Memoria gives you attack up 50% and defense up 22.5%. So, you know, it's pretty good. If you don't have, you know, something better, it gives you attack and defense. There is nothing more straightforward than that. And then you have a rough welcome to the sewer, which is the Memoria in the middle. Now, this one gives you anti-stun and defense up by 30%. So, that's good. Now, the anti-stone, I don't really know if the boss in that particular battle is gonna stun you or anything, because I guess that's that counts as a bad news. We don't really know either uh, what kind of witches we are facing. 
We just know they are witches, that's why it's called the witch's paradox. What I know is that, yeah, they, they always have something up their sleeves. Like, all the witches in the witch's paradox are different than the ones we regularly faced. And if this event is anything like the last one, there's going to be a new witch introduced as the final boss. Was it? Did that happen on the last event? I think so, right? The last witch was a new witch. Uh, and I remember it being pretty nasty. One thing to keep in mind is that we don't really know if they're, they're going to be with the same structure of, you know, fire, water, forest, light and dark. That worked for the past events because each memoria represented an element. But in this case, we have two missing elements. We are missing light and water on, on the memorias. I mean, because, you know, we have... Alina, we have Mifuyu, we have Ui. Mifuyu and Ui, already both of them are dark, so... And then we have the twins, Nemu and Toka. Sorry, I totally, like, forgot their names. But yeah, Nemu is forest and Toka is fire, so we don't have any water or any light. It's very likely that they will just ignore that and, you know, make it the same as always, but you have to stay on your toes. You never know. But yeah, let's move to the last memoria in the list is the Mao family is as lively as today. It gives you defense up 30% also and status helmet resistance up 30%. You will see this memoria again later on. But I mean, this one is good too. I mean, defense and resistance to ailments. Yeah, yeah, go for that. Now we have the anti-poison. We have two memorias for that. Poison can be, you know, pretty annoying. Especially if it's severe poison, if you remember that one, you know, it just inflicts more damage. Okay, so our first memoria is can get used to the city on the left. It has anti-poison 100% and blast damage up 20%, so pretty good. Also pretty straightforward, there is nothing weird with that. And then you may be wondering why the last memoria is, you know, marked in red. And that's because I discovered this memoria, The Last Inquisitor, has almost the same effect as Stance on Art, because it has chance to anti-poison and also has defense up. Isn't that great? The only thing missing is damage up versus enemies inflicted with status ailments. But really, uh, I don't consider that last effect, the damage up versus enemies inflicted with status ailments, to be as important than the anti-poison, because you know the boss is the witch is going to try and poison you. That's a given. That's why they are recommending this memoria. And besides, whatever TV you're going to use, you're only going to need the protection, at least at first. As for the what kind of team I will use, I can't tell you right now, because again, we don't know what kind of witch is and what it's going to do. Is it going to be a multi, uh, multi-target witch or is it going to be a single target witch? Is it gonna attack three times a turn? Is it going to attack only once? What kind of effects is going to inflict? Or what kind of buffs is going to get? But uh, don't worry about that. After the the first wave, I'm going to make another video that comes out tomorrow. And on the other video, I'm going to be analyzing the witches so we can be prepared for when the X battles come. All right, so that's all for Alina's Memoria. Okay, let's move to the next Memoria, which is going to be Cloak in Guild. So yeah, Cloak in Guild is Mifuyu's memoria and what it does is a cell MP gain up by 50% and an anti-seal. Pretty straightforward. And the special effect was going to be chance to skill seal on attack. So you know the boss in that particular stage is gonna be buffing itself or doing something awful to you. <laughs> Those are the most annoying. Because if you remember on last event, uh, which is Paradox, there was this one boss that just keep buffing itself and eventually, like at first it wasn't hitting really, like it didn't, you didn't feel anything, but then it started hitting really hard. Alright, so in this case, we have a small little problem. As you can see, there are not many memorias that share effects with Cloaking Guild. 
Oh, by the way, I'm using the, uh, the names that were given in the announcement. That's why they may be different than the ones in the wiki. So I apologize for that because I made this, uh, like, this graphics, this graph, sorry, based on, you know, the announcement. And then I went to the wiki and I was like, oh. And in most cases, the names in the wiki were a little longer because they were literal translation in most cases. So I decided to just go with the announcement. But yeah, we have a two-star memoria a four star memoria and a three star memoria and all of them had caveats to them so that's why this is you know one of the most annoying ones okay so let's start with the felicia memorias the first is napping to your heart's content on a day off oh i love doing that <laughs> believe you me so it's a two star memoria and the only effect it has is chance to uh, skill seal and attack 20 percent and it does it for three turns so the effect is good you only have to land it <laughs> that's the only problem you only have in one in fifth in five chances to do it right but yeah there's nothing too much to say about this the only problem with this one is since this, it's a two star memoria you're not going to get too much in the uh HP and attack department and now we move to the four star memoria Which is called the fake hatred reflected in the mirror I'm placing this one in here despite being a three star memoria because it's more than likely that you've been playing mirrors And this is one of the most recent memorias they gave out in the mirror event and it's still in the shop I mean you may not have the mirror coins needed or you may or you may so Yeah, I think this is the best time to buy it if you can by the way, the mirror shop is the very last one in the in the shop list. From right, uh, no, sorry, from left to right is the very last one at the uh, the rightmost. So this one gives you attack up and chance to skill seal 30% for one turn. So again, this you know has better chances of landing, but only lasts one turn, which is not bad. I mean, as as long as you can inflict the skill seal on the opponent. Of course, if you have the Cloaking Guild Memoria, you can also go for that. Same with the Alina one and same for the other ones. If you have multiple copies, that's better. Doesn't matter if they are not fully ascended. As long as you have them, it's better than nothing. It worked for me on the on the past Witch's Paradox event. And then we have the final Memoria, which is also marked in red. My Soul for the Land of the Rising Sun. This has anti-skill seal 100% is if it's, you know, fully ascended. Keep in mind that all of these effects I'm reading are fully ascended effects, so you must have fully ascended memorias if possible. But don't worry, all the links will be in the description, so you can follow along with my video. Okay, this memoria is marked in red because despite being a 3-star memoria, it was given a, in an event. It was the free memoria, so you may have it. And the event came out on 2019, so you know, it's, all, it's an old memoria, like two and a half years at this point, I think. I apologize if you don't have it, but again, not many, not many memorias have the anti-skill seal effect. Actually, just four memorias. And one of them is, you know, Cloaking Guild, the Mifuyu one, the other one is this one I just showed you. Uh, the other the other two, one is a personal memoria, so that's not going to be useful for us. And the last one is a 4-star memoria, but it was given on another event, and it only has like 65%. The name of the memoria is Place Where You Can Meet Everyone, which was the Sayuki event, and that came out on 2019 too, so hey, you may have it, it's a possibility. It has anti-darkness, so that's something. But yeah, Mifuyu was uh, a pretty short experience, there wasn't too much to talk about. Now let's move to the next one, Admiring the Beyond, the Toka Memoria. This one gives you attack up 20%, status ailment resistance up by 30%. So yeah, again, all of these are pretty straightforward and the special effect is anti-darkness. Now, if you remember darkness, it's a status conditions like fog, but worse. <laughs> because fog stops you from attacking sometimes, like you attack, but you miss. That's why it's called fog. Anti-darkness does almost the same, but it has a pretty nasty effect. Additional effect, I mean. It has a pretty nasty additional effect. And that will be each time you're attacked, by an element that is strong against you is gonna attack you for 80% more damage. That's pretty nasty. 
You can use it against bosses too, although there are no many memories in the game that have that effect. Okay, so let's see what the anti-darkness... What kind of memorias have anti-darkness? We have two, and both of them are marked in red for the same reason. The first one is Good Child, Good Child, which is Ashley Taylor's memoria. That gives you anti-darkness, anti-dazzle, and anti-fog. So, all the status conditions that can leave you blind. It was given on, you know, Ashley Taylor's event, and only then, that only has been, that, on, that event has only happened once, which was, yeah, one year ago. Yeah, because Ashley Taylor was released on March. We're about to reach March, so yeah, a year ago. And this year, there's not going to be a rerun, because we already got the the Valentine's Gacha, and that had, uh, and that had Ashley Taylor in it. Very sorry. The second memoria is Like This Until When, which, by the way, is an ultimate Madoka's memoria called Like This For Now? So, you know, it must be a part of a set, right? It's Like This For Now and Like This Until When. There must be another one, right? Like like This Ever Since or something like that? I don't know. Uh, it's just speculation. But yeah, this one has Anti-Curse, Anti-Darkness and Blast Damage Up. Pretty neat effect. And this, was, this one was given on the... Uh, the event was called The Dreams That Transcend Today. It was for, it was a free memoria, so you may have it. It was the Iroha and Ui Miko version free memoria, so yeah. Now, if we look at the next set of effects, Status Element Resistance Up. I already talked about the, the Mao Family memoria. It has also Status Element Resistance Up, so yeah, it came out again. Pretty good memoria overall, I guess, for this event at least. And the other memoria is for you who always perseveres. This one gives you 20% blast damage up and status element resistance up by 25%. Now remember, these effects accumulate, so they stack on top of each other. So if you have multiple memorias that give you status element resistance up, your resistance is going to be pretty high. So if you have multiple of multiple of these ones and multiple of the Mao family ones, you can just go nuts. It's pretty good defense against status helmets. All right, so moving things along, let's go to the next one, which is the Ui Memoria. The world is full of witches. <laughs> wishes, sorry, not, not witches. <laughs> Although it, I think this world is full of witches, that's why we're having this event. But no, it's full of wishes. Like the ones you ask for to a genie or a cube. This one gives you a cell MP gain up uh, 17.5%, a status element resistance up 30%. It features Ui and the special effect is. Now, this one is really confusing because the additional effect is a status element resistance up. Again. <laughs> So it's giving you the same effect twice, is it going to be like really important or something? Like is the boss in that particular stage is going to be inflicting a lot of status conditions? I mean maybe, at first I thought it was a mistake because I was getting the effects from the announcement but the, that was a translation that I got from the Magia Record Discord. So I went to Twitter to look for the Magia Record official Twitter and look at the announcement and yeah actually let me show you the announcement a little bit it's going to be on a screen right now if you look at ui's memoria it has you know the additional effect right there of course it's in japanese but i will show you a translation i got uh, i'll put the the image like right beside it and yeah it's the same effect it's a status element resistance up so yeah we're going to go for uh, with that as i'm still thinking that maybe it was a mistake but hey let's just be prepared i guess and again the mao family memoria is uh, you know showing itself again which hey i'm not gonna complain thank you for coming we already talked about it and also the other one too now that i think about it yeah it's this those two memorias like yeah, they, we got a repeat in here, so I already talked about them, so let's go to the secondary effect. A LMP game up. Okay, so let's see. First we have my team. Okay, so yeah, it gives you a 15% as LMP game up and anti-curse 100%. Nothing too much to worry about with that one. The next one is the one in the middle with Madoka. Keep this a secret from everyone. 
Now, if there is something I don't like about this memory, it's that it only has one effect, which is a Selene Pigen out, 70.5%. And the last one, the coordinated combination has the same effect, like it's literally the same effect, just copy paste a Selene Pigen up, 70.5%. So yeah, I guess this particular boss is going to try to inflict status conditions and it's going to be weak to magia. So you want to spam all the magias you can in here. And speaking of magia, here's the last memoria, Tranquility in a Wasteland. This memoria is the last memoria we're going to see is the one featuring Nemu now the effects are magia damage up just that effect it's a 12.5% for one turn and the additional effects in this case there are two of them is guaranteed dazzle and curse I left uh, I left this one for last because I think this one is like the most difficult was the most difficult one to search for and that's taking into consideration we also had the Mifuyu one that only had three memorias <laughs> So yeah, as you can see, most cars are just marked in red. Let's start with the Guaranteed Dazzle and Curse. Well, I have some bad news for you. There is only... Hmm... There is only possibly one Memoria that can inflict Dazzle that is guaranteed to do that in this whole game and that will be available to you in this event and it's you're looking at it tranquility in a wasteland now of course there are other memorias that can inflict dazzle the problem is that all of them that that have a hundred percent you know a hundred percent chance they are from a band and not like the free ones no no, no they are from the gacha uh, I already mentioned that Dazzle is a pretty powerful effect and yeah there is a re that's the reason they don't give us like access to it so easily and it sucks, it sucks a lot. Like the only memorias they give us, I think one was from an event a long time ago, it was Napro Fool. It has 16, only 16% chance to inflict this, that particular ailment. Uh, yeah. Now there is, a, there is a single memoria that is unlimited that can give you the same effect, which is the first one we have here. It's reason for involvement. As for why is you know marking red like most of the other cards, it's because the, this only one has 37.5% chance to inflict uh, dazzle on all enemies. Now that's you know a plus. It inflicts it on all enemies, but we're only going to be facing a single witch, so that sucks. Sucks a lot, which is why I mark it in red. But uh, if you want to use it, go for it. You could use what was it? Uh, I forgot the name of... There is a debuff you can use on the boss to increase your chances to... To increase your chances of inflicting a status conditions and it works very well because it works without the status condition you could inflict. What was the name of that thing? Give me a second. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Status element resistance down. It's a debuff you could use, inflict it on the, on, the, on the witch, and then you can you have better chances at inflicting status conditions with that. There are some memorias, not many, only 9 memorias in the game can inflict that, but you can get some of them. Like, yeah, one of them is even a 1 star memoria, surprisingly. But anyways, let's move to the next one. Now we have, let's move to Curse, because as I said, there's not too many that inflict, that inflict Dazzle. Curse is worse though, and I don't know why. Did you know there are only four memorias in the game that can inflict curse? And all of them are from events. Like none of them is, you know, something you can get. There are not, like, all of them are four star memorias. And it's so weird. Like one of them was from the Monogatari event. So can you imagine? The other one, oh wow. The other one can only be uh, obtained by buying the season two, volume three, limited edition, Blu-ray and DVD. And the other two were given for free in events, but you know, were for star memorias and can only be gotten on those events. So the one I'm showing you here is the Magical Halloween Theater. And the reason I'm showing you this one is because it was given for free during the New Year campaign uh, two years ago on 2020. You could buy it from the store, I think. Or was it like given to you? Oh yeah, you, you could buy them on the on the Magia Chip Shop for a limited time, so... The good news is that they have a 100% chance to, of, on inflicting, you know, curse. The other Memoria, it's not featured on my little image, but I'm gonna mention it regardless. It's their Connected Destination, which was given on the Whereabouts of the Feather Band. It has the same effect, curse chance 100%, but yeah, that event is from 2018, so... <laughs> 
I mean, the other memoria is not too bad. The Magical Halloween Theater, which is the one we are talking about right now, because it reduces the opponent's defense by 50%, aside from inflicting curse. For a long time, it was one of the best memorias to have in mirrors, because not many memorias give you like that amount of defense reduction until Mito Rain came out. Okay, let's move to the next memoria, and this memoria has a big if, and I'm going to explain you why. It's the Way Home After the Rain, Reira. This memoria doesn't inflict Dazzle, I, and that's the if, the big if. This memoria inflicts Darkness. Darkness has the same effect as Dazzle, but they are not inter interchangeable because the witch may, ha may be susceptible to Dazzle, but not to Darkness. So what does it do? Attack down 35% one turn and chance to darkness 100%. But hey, if you can inflict like darkness instead of dazzle, go for it. Because this memoria is a 3 star memoria and is freely available. Like it's unlimited. I don't know what they were thinking when they made it available to us, but hey, I'm not complaining. It's been saving my bacon for time in memorial. Not many other memorias like have powerful abilities as this. And the only reason like people don't use it more often is because it doesn't have defense down in instead of attack down. Can you imagine a memoria that lowered the enemy's defense and also make them more susceptible to damage? Yeah. Let's move on to Magia Damage Up. This effect is pretty straightforward, you already know what it does, it's in the name. We have Part Timing at an Art Gallery, or at the Art Gallery. This one gives you a Cele MP gain up, which is good. You could also use it for uh, in combination with Ui's Memoria, like we talked before. And Magia Damage Up, 12.5%, which is the same as, as Nemo's Memoria, which makes it really weird. Like, this memoria has a better effect than Nemo's memoria. It's kind of strange, but remember, like, some of these memorias were made later. Uh, I don't know why they consider Magia Damage Shop that powerful of an effect. You can only use it, you know, when you're going to use Magia. Nowadays, you can spam it, of course. I mean, the Magias. They are very uh, easy to spam. But at the same time, it's like, the effect doesn't last for more than one turn in most cases. And that's it. It gives you, like, a meager attack boost. It will be better to use have attack ups. The attack ups are easier to come by and usually last more turns or at least give you, you know, more attack boost. So, so weird. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which is which is and then the self stops. The reason this one is marked in red is because this is a three star memoria that was only given on the Great Revolution event. Good news is that happened on this month, if I'm not like mistaken, right? Wasn't that the last event we did before the the Kimochi raid and after Valentine or during Valentine's? I don't remember, but yeah, uh, we played this event. And we received this memoria. It gives you a cell and picking up to sell for three turns and magia damage up 15% for three turns, which is already better than the last memoria we just mentioned. And you probably have it, so yeah. Oh, okay. This this event went through January 28th to February the 10th. I see. But yeah, it, it finished at the start of the month. I think that's the best memoria you can you can hope to get if you don't have you know Nemo's memoria. Although in, in this particular case, like if we are not taking the guaranteed Dazzle and Curse into consideration, this one is better than Nemo's Memoria in all except, you know, the stat bonuses it gives you. And our last Memoria is one you should all have, at least in reserve, is the Magical Girls who in, in the wine fades with Madoka. That's a mouthful. It really just rolls off the tongue. So this one just gives you magia damage up 12.5%, which again is the same effect as Nemus. <laughs> I still don't get this memoria, like really. If you look at... Okay, look at Kyoko Sakura Flower Field and Memoria. It was introduced when the game came out. It gives you a 60% blast damage up for one turn. It's pretty good. And it's much better than this. And this came out later, so... Yeah, so weird. Hopefully you have all of these memorias, or at least, you know, a good number of them, so you can use them in tandem or as a replacement for the memorias feature in this event. If you're suffering from memoria space, because in some cases, like, yeah, you don't have enough space to keep all of your memorias, especially 
the three and two star memorias when you have a bunch of four star memorias. Remember, you can store them in the memoria vault. You have four vaults and each one of them can hold up to, was it? Oh, I forgot the number. But yeah, they, they can hold a bunch of memorias. I think each, each one of them can hold up to 400 or maybe less, maybe more, but yeah. Oh no, no, sorry, sorry, I remember. Each one of them can hold up to 500 memorias. So you have a vault, you have four vaults, that can hold a whopping 2,000 memorias in total. So yeah, you have plenty of space. You just need to learn how to manipulate and use the memoria vaults because you can rename each of the vaults. I, I remain mine to like, oh, this is the three memoria vault and this is the personal memoria vault and this is the two memoria vault and things like that. Although uh, I must admit that taking and putting in memorias can be a little confusing. That's why I made a video about that. I'm going to leave the link in the description and on the end card. So don't worry about that. If you need help, I got you back. As for what kind of teams you can make using these memorias, as I already said, we are not sure. We don't know what witches we're facing. If you want a general idea of how to use the wiki or how to navigate it, you can watch my other two videos about making teams on a budget, which again will be in the description and one of them will be in the end card because I only have three slots for some reason in the end card. I think that's going to be it for this episode. If I forgot something, I'm going to leave it on the description and I'm going to leave it in a comment too in the in YouTube. All of these images you are seeing right now about the cars and what kind of replacements you can use are going to be uploaded to my own Discord, which I'm going to leave again, a link in the description. So you can look at them. I'm going to be there too if you want to ask me things about this whole thing. But yeah, that was the video. So anyways, enjoyed the video, leave a like, have something to say, comment down below. One more, please subscribe. Is this video ending? You can bet it is. So I thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.